So we're gonna walk you through how to do it. It's really simple, guys. We use a force and a bit, 19 millimeters is the magic number, or for you Americans out there, the old English, it's three quarter inch. So that's the force and a bit that you set. And these fellas, what I do on this, I've got a stop plate, which is a great little tool because it stops you going too far. And I set it just two millimeters shy of the gunsmith adapter, it's full length meaning I've got a little bit of a protrusion when I've fitted them. So two mil, I think that's about 16th of an inch. So obviously that's a personal choice. You can set them how you like, but that's how deep I set them. There's two types. There's the brass one we've got here, um, great for the wooden stocks, or the aluminium one, 7000 alloy. They're obviously a lot popular, more popular. They're very, very lightweight and work great in the synthetic stocks. Nothing stopping you putting those in the wooden stocks either. The brass ones were a wee bit heavier, but look, they all do the job. The other thing that I will say about the gunsmith adapter, remember when you fit it, it's got two fitting locations for the bipod. There's the hunt mode, right, which gives you movement either way, which is very handy when you're tracking a live target. Or alternatively, there's a locked in mode, which doesn't give you any orbit. If you're shooting over 200 yards, guys, you can shoot in the locked-in mode because you've got the movement in the carbon anyway. Now, I set it so the bipod in the locked mode is facing with the locking lever back this way for the simple reason I can lock the bipod down, I'm more engaged in the system and it's just a tighter shot. If I have it in the hunt mode, I have it so the lever is facing away from me but we'll talk more about that when we fitted the adapter. But again, it's a personal choice. So, um, right, we'll get on to the installation now. Most stocks have a center line, you know, the mold line, but if they don't, what I tend to do is have a piece of string, put it through the trigger guard or there, and then put it to the center point here to get your center, center marks pretty easy, and then put some pen markers on either side so I know I get the central point sorted. So step one, guys, is obviously if you're going to drill holes in your stock, do remove the internals. So I always take the rifle apart um, and then I know I'm just dealing with the stock. So in this case, it's very, very easy. Here we got the uh, Seiko carbon light stock, which is ridiculously light. This is a lovely bit of kit. And I'm gonna put the gunsmith adapter, set one back here. We've got a classic up the front, just because this is a demo rifle, so we like to show the two. If it was my own rifle, I'd put a gunsmith adapter here, and I'd put one here, because I just love the gunsmith adapters. But uh, yeah, we'll get on to the next level. So I've set the carbon light stock in the vise. I've centralized it, and I've got my little pilot drill, so uh, I'm setting this literally two inches front of the, in front of the action, which is nice and far back, as I discussed earlier. And that is my pilot hole drilled, guys. Onto the next level. So now I've got my 19 mil force and a bit with the stop plate set just deep enough so the gunsmith adapter will protrude by about 16th of an inch. So here we go, guys. When you're cutting carbon, do it real slow and it tends to blunt these, uh, these bits pretty quick. So. Take your time, don't run the drill too quick. So, little word of advice, I've cut my hole, vacuum cleaned it out, you don't need to see that. I'm going to put the gunsmith adapter in before I remove anything, just in case I haven't cut it deep enough. Then I don't have to muck around with a bit again and there's a danger I miss the hole. So, just with a 19mm bit, you see, or three quarter, you see how tight that is in there, it fits just sweet as. So pretty happy with that. Right, so at this stage now, you've seen us, we've drilled the hole. Um, 
in this carbon stock. This carbon's very thin, it's very light, but it's got a nice foam membrane in the uh, inside of these Seiko stocks. I've done a few of these before and they've worked really well. Um, the gunsmith adapter, as I said before, can be fitted in one of two ways. Now, I set it with the dirt plug, Spartan face, upwards, with the stock facing upwards. For the simple reason then, when it's, the bipod is used in the lock position, the locking gate is at the front and the lever is at the back where I want to get my hands on it. So use a good two pack epoxy resin. We use 3M, we're not married to 3M, there's a lot of good companies out there, but do make sure it's a good quality one because you want that in and you don't want it coming out. And as you can see there, I've set this so it's um, protruding about maybe two, two and a half mil, about sixteenth of an inch I'd imagine. But I like it like that because I can feel it just where it is. And then obviously with these dirt plugs, you can pull them out with the top of the bipod and they can live on the side of the bipod or you can even stick them on the side of your barrel like that. Um, when I'm actually hunting, I tend not using the dirt plugs unless I'm in an environment where it is going to get dirty because it just slows you down. Another reason why I set the um, gunsmith adapter further back like this is if I'm using the bipod or the Spartan Ascent or the Sentinel, you look at the movement I've got here. So because it's more centrally positioned in the rifle, it gives me much better angles. So if I'm shooting extreme angles, this is really where you want it to be. It's a bit of a game changer. I've just come back from Tajikistan and shot all of that back gunsmith adapter. Anyway, we'll get onto the bonding. Right guys, so what we've done now is I've put a bit of masking tape around the stock for the simple reason that when I put my glue in there, I get a little bit that sticks out. I just don't want it damaging or contaminating the stock in any way. So as I say, it's up to you which way you put the gunsmith adapter in, but my words of wisdom on this are stick it that Spartan face up when your stock's pointing up with your barrel up in that direction. But as I say, it's a personal choice. So I've mixed some epoxy here, real simple. We just don't go crazy on it, guys. You need enough, but if you put too much, it just pops out anyway. But there are some spaces in the side of the gunsmith adapter that you want to fill up with the glue. Right, literally take your gunsmith and literally just gently squeeze her in there. Like so. One little tip that I would suggest is when you've done that, pull your snow plug out and make sure you've actually got it really level. So you don't want a twisted gunsmith adapter like that, for example. So I just make sure it's centralized properly. Uh, once that's done, put your snow plug back in. And then all I do to finish it off is just run a bit of tape over that. So, and leave alone, I suggest four hours before you touch it. <laughs> 